hello everyone welcome you all in this video we are going to derive the ideal gas equation okay so now what is ideal gas the gas which obeys all the gas laws means Boyle's law Charles law Avogadro law is known as ideal gas okay based on this law only we are going to derive the ideal gas equation so as we know that from from Boyle's law from Boyle's law volume of a given gas is inversely proportional to pressure by keeping temperature is constant so my this is Boyle's law okay if temperature is constant volume of a given gas is inversely proportional to pressure okay and then from Charles law from Charles law volume of a given gas is directly proportional to absolute temperature by keeping pressure as constant okay this is my equation number two okay. and from and from Avogadro law what does Avogadro law state volume of a given gas is directly proportional to number of moles by keeping temperature and pressure as constant so this is three laws okay now I will combine all these three laws so what I get volume proportionality to this 1 by P into this T into N okay so I can write V proportionality to T N by P okay if I take P that side it will be become P V proportionality to N T okay to remove proportionality we have to add constant P V is equals to N R T so this is my ideal gas equation where P is pressure, V is volume, N is number of moles and R is known as T is absolute temperature. R is called universal gas constant. Universal gas constant. Okay. So I will write RU for universal. I will write RU as universal gas constant and the value for R is r equals to 8.314 joule mole inverse kelvin inverse so this is the value of r now pv is equals to nrt this is my ideal gas equation based on these three laws we have derived the equation now we will see some other forms of ideal gas which is very important for the exam part of view so now pv is equals to n rt so this is my equation number one okay here this is my first equation now n here is number of moles number of moles so how you write number of moles n equal to mass of given gas to molar mass or molecular mass okay so I will write mass of a given gas small m and molar mass or molecular mass I will write as capital M. So I will represent this small n with small m by capital M. So what I will get PV is equals to small m divided by capital M RUT. Okay. So I have replaced n with small m by capital M. This RU universal gas constant and molecular mass is known as R u by m is known as R which is equals to gas constant which is equals to gas constant so I will represent represent this with R so what I get P V is equals to m R T so this is also an ideal gas equation where m is mass of a gas and R is gas constant and for air for air R value is 0. 287 kilojoule per kg degree Kelvin okay so this is the other form of uh, ideal gas so now this RU and this R is different this RU is the universal gas constant and here R is gas constant if you divide universal gas constant by molecular mass we will get the R as constant gas constant okay so now if I take with it that side what it become PV is equals to small m by V RT 
mass by volume which is nothing but density so i can represent this term with density rho we will get p is equals to r rho rt so this is also an ideal gas equation okay so pv is equals to nrt pv is equals to mrt and p is equals to rho rt so this is the other gas equation